so we are just gonna go in here and say slash dev and say web dev maybe we'll find something in there i'm not sure if maybe if so if if this word list even contains dot git we're just gonna check this out come on okay so it doesn't look like this one has git in it so maybe we'll try one which actually has git in it does the common one have it uh what do we have uh web content it's the common one in here common yeah common.txt is often used on hash the box and here we have the git stuff so maybe we go with this one here i mean we can wait until this is done maybe we find something this is done so let's go up here in here we say uh nope and in here we say that and this list has to change as well to be the common one right come on or let's just paste the off we copy boom let's go to the end and here we have in dev2 and we are fuzzing it and we have found the already some git stuff now you may know from one of our previous challenges that there is a tool called git dumper which i think i've still installed yes git dumper and i think we just dump the HTT is correct slash slash then we have vessel htb and then we'll say slash dev and then here we say website source and we got something perfect now we are gonna open it in a code editor now we are becoming real programmers let's open a folder we are at what is it called vessel all right website source we have something in here boom yeah i okay let's trust them for now we have a config file which is perfect this has credentials in it nice all right so all our enumeration etc is uh, for nothing apparently we have the scripts which we saw we have the routes oh wait oh wait 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 uh okay so it looks like this is used parameterized queries which are not easily easily hacked with sql injection but maybe we can try something there i mean i didn't even think about sql injection when seeing the login screen maybe we can just create a session cookie and write that we are locked in anyways but this is interesting we have database credential to our ready here uh can we log in with those credentials to the website i highly doubt it but maybe they have like password reuse so the username is default and the password is this one no we we'll still have to wait for our brute force attack to finish it's just gonna take around five thousand hours chat can you wait for five thousand hours until the brute force is done i hope so because it's gonna take five thousand hours to do so okay now with that out of the way we found some stuff uh which is very interesting mainly this database thing but maybe where was it the routes so in here is this hackable i'm unsure i mean they upgraded the deprecated mysql js which sounds bad for us oh we have this index which we haven't even taken a look at what do we have here public all right so we have i think we have two ways on going about on this first one would be to find an sql injection on this one maybe we can perform an sql injection i mean i highly doubt it it's like very secure <laughs> or it looks very secure maybe you know what i'm just gonna copy paste that and ask chat gpt because my live chat doesn't know it as well i suppose oh no i, I have no google session on this machine okay uh, it's uh, it's telling me that it's like um, uh, it's a parameterized queries and it effectively mitigates the risk of sql injection okay so that's exactly what i was thinking yay i'm as smart as chat gpt woohoo but uh, i mean we can still try the admin or one equals one boom boom tag down password and then login yeah it's what we all expected no sql injection here move along okay so we can try the second method which would be to we have this request session locked in now how do we set this i mean do we have some kind of cookies or anything for this website yes we have some kind of cookie we have an object connect as okay what the heck is a connect id this seems like a templating engine we have index and we have cookies same size trick 
right. Okay. A uh, session secrets require crypto. So we have a secret which is just random. Perfect. Why are they so good with their security? But somewhere we would have to set the cookie, right? Or am I missing? Like something session. Uh, okay, so this one is this one. And we have cookies inside strict max age. Something safe uninitialized. You should never need to access the S session ID itself, but we do that somewhere here in the admin session dot locked in. Okay. How can I overwrite my session cookie? I mean, we don't have the secret, which is already a big showstopper. Maybe that's another question for chat. I mean, oh, we didn't. You know what? Did we also download the Git stuff? Okay, so it looks like we have potential security fixes. Here we have security fixes, which is what's interesting to us. And then we say git diff, I guess. And this one. Boom. I mean, what? So they just wrote it's upgraded, but it's still the old one. I, I'm, I'm too confused. Let's maybe I'm using git flaw wrong. Let's go with the initial commit and do, do git diff. And now this one. No, it's always been my SQL, even in the initial commit. And they even had like an SQL injection right here for us for the taking in the first commit as well, which you can see right now. But if I do this, you can see that we, so this app used to have an SQL injection. So they fixed that and they updated the MySQL JS, but they didn't really update it so maybe we're back to the sql injection after all uh, what was it in here no in the login part right in here maybe we can exploit this unsafe mysql thing because it wasn't actually fixed in the first place so let's do a uh, blah 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 mysql yes no js express CVE. Let's open a couple of those. Not in four. Okay. Let's take a look at. Okay. So this is not working. Perfect. This is just busting my balls with this huge thing. And then we have vulnerable Node.js, which doesn't load. What's happening today? Uh, public archive. Okay. Then we'll go with this one. Hang on. The following code is an example of a vulnerable snippet you could find on the top most result of Node.js Express development tutorials on Google search. Boom. Do you see what I see here? So if you take a look at this code, it's almost exactly the same code that we have somewhere in here. Yes, it's almost the same as this one. Fantastic. All right. We are on the right Frag. Uh, let's continue. Now it's time to exploit whatever we have here. The following code is an example exploit script that passes in password as object and pi passes the authentication. Username, admin, password, password one, fetch, blah, blah, blah. All right, but do I have to do that with Node.js or can I do that? I think I can do that in the console of the application, of the, of the browser itself. So let's go in here and paste this code. Allow pasting fantastic boom uh, in here we have something different which is uh vests htb slash api slash login we're getting rid of you we're getting rid of you we are sending this and we are in perfect we are in fantastic so let me grab this part uh bypass admin web login okay so what do we do we say we, we just like create an object password and that's like enough i mean we should take a closer look at this i guess but we're trying to hack into the system we don't have time to know what we're doing we are just doing all right but now that we're in i, I guess it's on to the next step which will be hopefully to exploit everything and become root on this machine What's in the settings? The settings is nothing, nothing. Here we have open web analytics vessel. Okay, so let's just grab this, I guess. And we have a new website. So let's just through the in Etsy host and add this new website in here. Save, refresh, and we have a new login. Please, why? What? Uh, uh, come on, we, we've, we've just cracked one login. Why are we faced with a second? <laughs> Why?